But when you look at your body, when you look at the world, it seems that you are engaged with everything, that you have no time for God. But every night, He dissolves your body in the subconscious sphere and makes you realize that you are not a man nor a woman, but a piece of consciousness, a reflection of His consciousness sleeping in space in joy. The drama of sleep gave me the greatest faith in God. When anybody told me I am made in the image of God, I laughed. Well, I couldn't see in this frail body the image of God. But Master said, in this subconscious mirror of sleep, you find that you are infinite. That every night you become the infinite. You are not man or woman. You are joyous and happy and conscious. But when you wake up, you always know that you are never unconscious in sleep. You exactly know how you sleep. Only you are not conscious of your body. But you are conscious of your real self. And the nest of your troubles starts with the body. So all the gifts and kindness that you have given to me, I want to give this gift to you. Remember these two natures in you. The nature as a man, as a human being during the day, and the nature as God at night. And I often say we are all gods at night, but we become devils during the day. And if we can be gods during the day, we are gods all the time. And this purpose of life must not be drowned in the various engagements with matter. We must remember, if God says, I have no time for you and stop sticking in your heart, all your engagements have to be cancelled immediately. For one of the great sayings in India is, he is the cleverest who finds God. He is the cleverest who gives time to find God. He is the cleverest who finds that supreme happiness within. And he who can stand unshaken amidst the crush of breaking worlds. He whose peace, the riches of peace, cannot be taken away by all the robbers of circumstances and trials. In this spiritual family, you all remind me by your actions of one who millions forget. And that's why they suffer. I remember one day I was in the movies. Movies has one fascination because I see the whole world as movies. I was in the booth and I saw the operator was reading a novel. And I saw this automatic machine was going on and the beam was causing on the screen a terrible horror picture. And I said, Lord, how is it? I have the whole show of the universe in front of me. You are this operator who is thinking of new plays. And your nature is throwing this beam in the sky. And I see the hero and the villain are nothing but pictures. Nobody is killed. Many were being killed and shot in this picture. But I saw from the booth, it was the light that had created the villain and the light had created the hero. And a voice said, remember, the villain is created so that you don't become the villain, but that you love the hero. If you become the villain, your throat has to be cut. And now you see that there is no villain, no hero. They are both pictures of my beam. After getting away from the villain and evil, or tasting poisoned honey, taste the honey of goodness and then come into the beam, and you will realize that all this world which you see of terrible wars and troubles is nothing but a picture show, cosmic motion picture show in the sky. You will be surprised 
You never analyze that as soon as you sleep and dream, you can create a world like this. With people suffering from cancer and disease and wars and some smiling babies born, old men dying, then when you wake up, you see that all those things were made of your dream consciousness. So remember, this is the same, nothing different. And until you find that out, this world is a terrible show. I said to God, as he was talking to me, but Lord, look at the audience. They are howling and screeching downstairs at this horror show. I see that it's nothing but pictures and light, because I see the invisible beam. There are no murders in the beam, no heroes, no villains in the beam. But Lord, what about the audience? They don't know it. Then the voice said, Tell them all to look at my beam within and they will realize that this show was given to entertain them, not to get mixed up with it. That's why, remember, every night he makes you a god. Every night he withdraws you from this movie, cosmic movies, and makes you realize you are the son of God. You are made in his image. You cannot be violated or hurt by stones. Not bombs, not machine guns, not atomic bombs. Remember the best shelter is in the silence of your soul. And if you can develop that silence, nothing in the world, nothing in the world can touch you. And you can say, Having which no other gain becomes greater. Then you can stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. Then you are not in any way touched by cold and heat, pleasure and pain. But as soon as you are touched by these, you are with the movies. So I realize this world with terrible wars and troubles when I... See the injustices. I cannot, I cannot uphold the Father. But when I see that light dancing around me, this is the picture show, then I say glory to the Father. So remember, on one little piece of thought is the whole universe resting. And when the rub of the thought at night, the whole universe tumbles away. You do not realize that the ocean is present in every dark. And that great power of God is present in every thought. And I do hope that in your kindness to me, you remember this that I told you. Do not get mixed up with this movie, this terrible movie of God. There's one purpose, to get to the beam. Get away from the villain and villainous action and poisoned honey of evil. Drink with the hero, the good honey of virtue, then get to the beam. Then you will suddenly realize it was only a show. History has no meaning for me. For God can revive the past in the present and the present in the future. There is no time nor space. Everything is happening in your own thought. If you realize that, you will realize the infiniteness of God and the kindness of God, and the love of God. He has one thing in mind. He has thrown out from his beam the villain and the good. And he wants to bring them back and make them one with the beam.